Hey guys, so if this is the first time you're clicking on my channel, welcome, my name is Jessica. This is my third year of homeschooling. We did do public online school for two years and I was teaching all the lessons, so I feel like I was already homeschooling, although it's totally different now that I've been able to choose my own curriculum, do things at my own pace with this charter school. I think it's important for me to mention that the online school that we were using was a public online school and it's one of the K-12 schools. So a lot of people don't know that K-12 is the curriculum. I have a whole video explaining all that. If you guys wanna know more about that, you can go ahead and click on here, but basically, it was a public online school and now I'm with my local charter homeschool. I have a list here of five differences between these schools that I found so far. But before we get into that, I think it's so important for me to mention that there are so many options out there for schooling and I had no idea. I went to public school myself and basically I just knew that there was private and public and I didn't know all the options out there. So there's like public online school there are charter schools there are homeschool charter schools there's independent homeschooling there are so many ways you can go about schooling and it's just important for you to know that there's different options out there you just got to go out there and find it um so these are just the two differences between my two experiences which were between a public online school and a homeschool charter school okay so the first thing i'm gonna mention which was the one thing that i was totally shocked about is that the funding is provided to the parent or the person who's going to be in charge of teaching so basically i got funds at the beginning of the school year to purchase my curriculum to purchase all of our supplies so this is basically money that you can get to use for all of your school needs, all of your educational needs. We can go ahead and purchase classes for Lily, her extracurricular activities. So it was just nice to have control over that. Whereas the public online school that we went with, which was California Virtual Academy, they basically used this money to purchase the K-12 curriculum and all of the programs and extracurriculars that they used um, so yeah, that was really nice to have control over where the money went. That was actually my second point. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. But yeah, with the online school, the school chose a curriculum and basically the funding went to the school. And something that I forgot to mention was that they did reimburse you twice per year for internet use. Um, I made a video all about that. I'll go ahead and link it up here, but yes, it was basically money that you got back for using internet in your house. Um, and with this homeschool charter school, I got to choose Lily's curriculum. We are really loving this curriculum that we've been using. We're using Moving Beyond the Page. I have a whole unboxing. Again, the video will be linked up here, but I'm not gonna lie, it was super overwhelming in the beginning because there are so many options out there for curriculum and my thing was that I wanted to have like an all-in-one curriculum for the first time because I didn't know what I didn't want to go and look in different places for different subjects and the moving beyond the page curriculum that we chose has it all in one so the third thing that I have here and it's worth a mention because I've heard recently uh, students now have about three class connects per day so class connects if you're not familiar with this yet are um, the sessions that you have to have with the teacher so when we were doing the public online school we had two sessions per day sometimes only one it really depends on the teacher they're the ones that get to schedule this but two was a lot for us so now hearing that there are three class connects per day is just like I don't know how you find time to finish your lessons at least for us that was the hard part having to do our lessons around the class connects not to mention I do have a toddler so having to do all of that around just my day-to-day -day life was pretty hard and it required a lot of scheduling a lot of sacrifice and so that was really hard for us. And um, now with this homeschool charter school, we don't have to do any class connects um, unless Lily signs up for something that's like, unless Lily signs up for like a online class or something. But so far this moving beyond the page curriculum has been a blessing because we don't have 
as much screen time which was a big reason why I was looking at alternatives because I did feel like Lily was already spending a lot of time doing school online and then on top of that the class connects and it was just a lot of screen time for me. I'm just so thankful we don't have to do that this year and it's been really nice. So point four is that we don't have to log in to our system to keep track of attendance or anything like that. Um, we keep track of our own attendance. I remember getting calls all the time if Lily hadn't logged in by a certain time or getting the emails with the with the online school i felt like it was just a lot of added noise to our already noisy day um so that's been nice not to have to do any of that um again we're keeping track of our own attendance and we do attendance once a month and we do it ourselves it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy and i love that so the last thing i have for you guys is schedules it was nice to have that schedule provided for us with the online school. So they do provide a schedule for you, which makes it so easy. If you are a new homeschooler or just someone, or if you're just someone who doesn't like to schedule yourself, um, yeah, like that, I really did enjoy that. It was a blessing for us to have that schedule provided for us when we first started homeschooling because I didn't have to think about anything. We logged into the system and we got to see what we had to work on for that day and it kept track of what we were finishing. But with this new charter school, I've had to do all of that myself, which wasn't so bad because I had an idea from the previous online school. I feel like having that provided for me before helped me just figure it out this year with our own schedule so I feel like the beginning of this school year was a little bit stressful just figuring out the the curriculum what we were going to use and all of that getting familiar with the way things work now but now that we've been in school for over a month we have figured out our rhythm things are just flowing and I've really been enjoying just having that freedom and less pressure and it's been really good. It's been really good. And so yeah, I hope this video was helpful if you are looking at your different options for schooling or if you just wanted to know the differences between the online school that we were doing versus now the charter school, like what the differences are between these two types of um, schools. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to get to those. That is it for this video. Don't forget to smash that like button if you found this helpful and I will see you on the next one. Bye.